Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, People's Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture, 154. This time we're going to try out the bus end station. <laughs> or something. Bus, bus station, bu bus line incorporating end stations. Because this, uh, this bus line that we have going here around the place, the little commune it's called for some reason, for historical reasons it's called that, it still needs to compute the line length. Haven't you been able to do that in all this time? It's been uh, unchanged for, for a very long time. Anywho, you have three buses on it now. Uh, you sort of uh, end up in, uh, you always keep, um, you never succeed in, in... Never mind. Uh, for the moment, it goes, uh, it goes like from here, uh, picks up a few people here maybe, drops off students here, then it goes up to town. Uh, it doesn't need to go to town, uh, really, any longer. Because people can walk there. These people can walk there, and uh, these people can walk there, and these people can take the cable car. Uh, students, yes, but only only students with basic education should be waiting here. Only students with basic education will get on. It doesn't matter. Okay, clear, delete all stops, and create a new stop. Is that included? Yes. Uh, you start there, and then you go there, where you load, uh, and this this is only for 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 students then, yeah. And there too, also only load students, and we could even be be so specific as to say uh, none that. None that already have a basic education, because this is only for, for the basically for getting them a basic education, right? Which is where what they get there, okay? There? Oops, that was in the wrong place. Right, because that's, that is this one. Correct, that's in the wrong place. Delete stop. Uh, the, after that one, you add here and there you not unload there neither but you do here get out everybody that's what you do Let's see how this uh, behaves now a tanker has arrived very good I would hope then that, that it fuels up the buses here uh, it has a fixed Either variable time or a fixed time to do this. Okay. Why aren't you going to uh, to the end station? You know, I could not tell you why it isn't doing. Line spacing not supported? No, because we have the end station that is supposed to handle that now somehow. Hmm. Interesting. Da, da, da. Twelve children can't go to school, you say. But now, now we could set more buses to this uh, since they will wait here rather than be waiting around by driving slowly on the road I think every 30 seconds it should send a bus off or however it works here comes another one but what are you doing ah right uh, they need to do a lap before uh, before it takes effect and, uh, and everything Maybe we can put a few more buses on this. And we have the Mercedeses, some sort of Mercedeses we have had for this. It will continue, uh, I think it is these, but red ones. Three more? That's probably too many. Quite, quite likely too many.
No, 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 no. Oh, you get back here. You get back there. You get back there. Good. Go. What's going on? Yeah, I think uh, it's uh, good. Things are going on. Oh, yeah, well, good. We don't know if, if they are good, but sort of what we want to be happening is more or less happening. Yes. Oh, building materials, cement chip. Cement chip. You, um, we don't need you around in port. We have used up. Um, we could go uh, go buy more cement. And then we'll see you in uh, in springtime, I suppose. Yes, this this uh, <laughs> these tankers are going to last us a while out here. As this bus, for example, you are on your way to to the bus station. Bus end station. Now oh, you come in here. Okay. I go out. You fueled up. Very good. Do you do that every time? Yeah, you do that every time. You send off a bus, you, f you fill it up first. Excellent. Why are there students on board, though? Uh, these already have a basic education. They should not be uh, allowed on. Children without education? Children without education. Uh... Yes. Why? Uh, how did that happen? <laughs> how did, did this end up on this bus? Where did you come from? Where do you live? You live in the Stalinkas, so you managed to get on here somehow. Hmm. This seems to be working out great. This. Now you only have children on board. Great. Uh, because these people, they will figure out that they will have to walk up here. First here and then, then to here. Right. Okay, we can check. We can follow one around. You, for example. Artemi. After you have waited here for one hour, what do you do? And you went home. Uh, it was maybe not was what, what you were supposed to be doing. Uh, I would suggest that you go to this bus stop instead. And wait. And, and, and have a look around. Your neighbor here, Lana, she has managed to figure this out. She went to that one directly. And we can't set like only only allow basic uh, children with out basic education here. No, we can't. We have to have it like this. Passengers, I'm not sure that we should have them here at all. No, we shouldn't, because they should walk directly there and onwards. Take that away. See, now I have buses waiting, and one just went by. And three, five students. This might actually not be such a bad idea.
One student. Six children can't go to school. Let's let's have this for a while and see how how many children can't go to school. After a while, four, five, a uh, hundred citizens were unable to get food. Why? That's no good. Ah, because you went to the wrong bus stop and uh, you won't do that anymore. You will go up here now and this will be great. Except that this can only have 50 people waiting here at a time. Uh, yes, but it's working fine for all of these. They also go via a small one, a tiny one like this, and it's working. You also have a, this custom bus line that does something. Yeah, that aids, that, that also helps, I think, because this... What is it this does again? Yeah, it takes people from here uh, via the waypoint there and drops them off here. Uh, that probably takes care of uh, some, you know, those that have not been able to... Uh, they couldn't fit on the tiny bus stop, maybe. And therefore it works out for this. But not for this. I think we'll leave it for a while. Uh, because that's then this may stem from people walking here and then not walking onwards. So here. Um, platform station is full. Yes. We'll allow it we'll give it some time. Ah, this, this still isn't done. Uh, wh why isn't it? Because I screwed up and I had to redo it five times and then I forgot to assign, assign it to construction office. That's why they're starving down here. Ah. Sorry, people. You're down to 90% satiation. Okay, th this footpath is a bit critical now. Uh, please. Gravel is uh, not on its way quite yet, but it will be. I have. <laughs> I have this enormously tall crane here, 75 meters tall, to put in the street lights here. Are you sure that crane is going to help? It's not only going to make it more complicated. Uh, I mean, to use this to maneuver in a, a street light pole, I. does seem quite difficult. And you need 300 kilograms of asphalt. Is that uh, on its way, maybe? Because I feel like we have been waiting for this for quite a while, or can't the asphalt plant produce asphalt or something? Yes, it can. Yes, you're going to continue streaming in here, and uh, you, you'll have no place to go until we've we've done this and you'll probably start getting you, you are starting to get upset 61 percent happiness yes very good <laughs> now if we leave these people be for a little while uh, there is also stuff to be concerned about maybe in uh, in utopia here is this uh, how is this doing nowadays? Uh, there are not that many free flats uh, anymore, so it seems to be growing back the town. That's good. Is the shopping centre keeping up? Yes, it is, but it's just keeping up. And that's when, when the productivity is half decent among the citizens. If the productivity gets even the slightest hint of not being perfect, then, then it's goes downhill very quickly. Uh, therefore I'm thinking uh, that just maybe we should have a second shopping center. 
Uh, it's a it's, you know, they, they take quite a lot of people after all these buildings and um, are you sure you want a second one I mean, I've been pondering this for a while and uh, it may feel a bit overkill for at the time being but then again then again it, it is a catastrophe when uh, not everyone here will be able to walk through it. Uh, where, where do we put it then? Because it's very large. Residential areas, uh, food and shopping, shopping center. Uh, if we put it here, you're going to have to remove some footpath. This one, it seems to be used for people walking to the shopping center, maybe. And it, it might be, uh, yes, they're walking out of here and then they're taking this way. Okay, so if we remove this, they're not going to like it because then it's going to be too far. Mm, perhaps, maybe not. Can you still reach the shopping center? Yes, you can. Great. And then we, we sh probably have to remove this. It doesn't. What are you talking about? Can you still reach the shopping center? You're building another one. You know. Yes. Just remove this footpath too. There. And then second shopping center. How does this work with the road connections? Not at all. It is not working whatsoever with the road connections. There it's one road connection gets on. There. Okay, did we have it? I think we'll have it. And we put put one here. Yeah, sure. Straight and tidy and everything. As always, as ever. There we go. Uh, construction officers, which one is which ones is it that do this best? It's either group one or two. These trains are still no, not anywhere near getting uh, filled. Oh, was in a good ideal world, they will be filled. Uh, and eventually, they will be when the tongue grows back. Maybe. Uh, this platform terminal is full. Tum uh, yeah, this is also something I did when, when we were in the last catastrophe. Uh, a lot of these buildings were then dedicated to walking to that bus stop to walk to then walk on to work in, in these food factories. We can now remove this order uh, from, from some of them at least. Uh, we should still have it at a few, but not... not not everywhere. Now we have it at uh, one, two, two. Uh, that's maybe one, one more then. Yes, one more. We go here. This is uh, walkable from uh, every single residential building in town. Yes, it is. Very good. Very good. Is 
See, 550 people waiting around here now, and the train with a capacity of 500 should then be filled. Otherwise, there is something very odd going on indeed. There you go. Get on. Go to work. That's more like it. Okay, um, I think that's good. Uh, I think that we are reasonably good. This plane, the Tupolev, is now working. Yes, and we have 34 passengers heading up to the mountain town. What are you, do you all want culture? You all want culture. That's lovely. Because you're going to the opera house, that, probably then. I think that what we do is we, we follow this plane. If, if this one, okay, it's a bit busy here. Uh, how, for how long have you been? One hour you've been sitting on, on the plane now. Uh. That's and you've got to go first. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, we'll just follow this plane up to the Opera House uh, and see if they actually go to the Opera House. They should. Uh, for some reason, you, you are 24 years old, you haven't managed to get any electronics. Okay. As you, you, I mean, you're not flying in a prudent way. If I, okay, if I can put it that way. to finish this now. This is excellent. We're managing to provide culture for the people of Utopia that do not have a radio television. Right? Where are you going? You must be going here. That's the only possible explanation. maybe increase the staffing a bit. Yes, now we can only take 36 people and, and there may be more on on a TU-144. I see you getting culture. That's very good. And uh, staffing wise we're doing decently I, th I think. If we take one of these, 11 workers, one student, one student, 12 workers. Because remember that this, all of these places, they are not being staffed by the people actually living here, no. <laughs> they are being staffed by the people living down here. Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah, they have 200 unemployed workers out of a total working population of 1,430. And here, here we have four, uh, two, th two and a half thousand working population age and of age working population of population of working age. Yes, and and we have 1,700 of them more unemployed. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching. It is the 1st of December of 2034. I think that we'll see each other again in in either late either late late winter or or springtime. Good night.